Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Colorado Pain Network. The topic today is indications for spinal discectomy surgery for sciatica. What exactly is sciatica? At any one point in time, 1-2% to 2 of the population suffers from sciatica. Most have no clue what they did as an inciting event. It's typically due to slow disc degeneration that results in a tear with the inner part squeezing out and pinching on the adjacent nerve root. Symptoms of sciatica uh, result from the pinched or irritated nerve root that gets inflamed and causes potentially leg pain, burning with pins and needles possibly, some numbness, and maybe some weakness. You can see here, uh, this is from the L5 nerve root, can cause a foot drop, inability to lift up the foot. Um, rarely you can get incontinence, and that becomes a surgical emergency. Initial treatments for sciatica, uh, short bed rest, they've shown that you know, spending a week in bed is actually does more harm than it does good. Over-the-counter medications can be extremely beneficial, such as naproxen, Advil, Tylenol. Uh, physical therapy and chiropractic treatments along with spinal decompression therapy have been very helpful. Prescription medications, initially a Medrol dose pack can be helpful, which is a large dose of prednisone that tapers off over five days. Narcotic medication along with muscle relaxers. And then neuropathic medications, which would be Neurontin or Lyrica, can help mitigate uh, the pain. Interventional treatments um, include trigger point injections to ease the muscle aching and spasms, and then epidural injections, such as you see here, where you have a disc coming back and pinching on a nerve root. The epidural injection can bathe this area with soothing cortisone medication and relieve the pain dramatically. Indications for sciatica surgery. There are three types of indications. There are absolute, which means you really have to have it done. There are relative, which means you really should consider it, but it's not absolutely necessary. And then quality of life, which means it's really up to the patient. It's not an absolute, you know, you just don't have to have it done. What you see here is the annulus fibrosis of the disc and then the nucleus, which is the inner gelatinous part. Then you have a disc bulge from degeneration where there's no tear but it just starts to bulge out. That can cause uh, a nerve root compression. Then you can have a tear where the disc actually comes out. Or you can have an extruded disc fragment where not only does it come out, it actually separates away from the disc itself. Absolute is cauda equina syndrome. This is when you have a large disc herniation pushing right on the end of the spinal cord, which is the area called the cauda equina, and it can cause irreversible incontinence and difficulty walking if it's not emergently treated, meaning within 24 hours. Okay, That's the one time that you really have to have surgery quickly, emergently, to prevent um, permanent complications. Now, a relative indication is when you have motor weakness or a neurologic deficit that is progressing, okay? So, a lot of times you just have the pain and numbness, but if you start to have a foot drop where you can't lift the foot up or you have trouble lifting up um, using your quads to lift up uh, your leg, then, you know, you want to consider having surgery because here's what, what we know. We know that a lot of it is reversible, but at a certain point, in an individual, it may become irreversible. Even if you have a surgery, it's done technically perfect. What time point is that? Three months, six months? We don't know exactly. There's no hard and fast rule. So the issue is you can have a foot drop and wait a while to see if it's going to get better. But there's always that chance that it may not. Okay. So when you start having a progressive neurologic deficit, that may be, is a relative indication for surgery. And then elective becomes a quality of life. And that's if you have over six weeks of conservative treatment of the things that we discussed, such as you see here, spinal decompression therapy, some injections. If things just are not getting better, then it may, up to the patient, you know, you can say uh, surgery can help you get, the pain, get out of the pain faster, get back to work faster. Um, you know, it's up to the patient to make that decision. You can just lay it out for them as to what the, uh, the pros and cons are. The outcome of sciatica surgery, in reality, less than 10% will need the surgery. Okay, Over 90% who have the surgery have good to excellent results. In 2006, there was a study in JAMA that showed that at one year, the outcomes are identical for those who had surgery and those who didn't. But what it did show is those who had surgery helped increase mobility and decrease pain faster. Okay, But at one year, 
no difference in the outcomes. The top pain management clinics in Colorado are Colorado Pain. They have several locations in the Denver metro area, including Buena Vista, South Granby, Golden. They take over 50 insurances with the board-certified pain doctors who offer both medication management and the interventional treatments for all types of conditions, including sciatica. They've won the Patient's Choice Award five years in a row. The number to call for treatment is 720-306-9575. And visit us on the web at painmanagementdenverco.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Colorado Pain Network. Your pain stops.